Welcome in, guys, to the first Phillies post game show of the year. Well, listen, the Phillies just didn't get it done today. Now, there were some big time positives to come out of this game, but they did lose today 11 to 7. Um, they had the lead going into the bottom of the fourth, 5 0. They looked like they were taking over, they were playing really, really well. Um, they, they beat the Jacob DeGrom and then everything unraveled in that fourth inning, gave up nine runs in the fourth inning. And that, that was it after that, um, you take away the fourth inning, the Phillies win this game pretty easily, but bad innings happened. It was one of the worst innings that's ever happened in major league history on opening day sucks. But, um, let's look at some of the positive here for the Phillies. Let me, I'm, I'm going to post this, uh, put up this little score sheet for you guys. Um, let's look at the box score here. Gregory Soto winds up getting the loss here after he gave up a three-run bomb, and he could not. He walked two guys. He was just a mess. Um, he winds up with an infinite ERA right now, I believe. Yes, he has an infinite ERA. Um, Aaron Nola wasn't real sharp either. Gave up that home run. Soto did not give up the home run. My bad. Brogdon gave up one too. Um, but yeah, the, the pitching just wasn't great in this one. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know much else I can say about the pitching. It was, wasn't was very good. Even Nola, 72 pitches through three and two thirds. Like the pitch counts were up way too high. Through 174 pitches in the game today. Um, let's see. What else do I go with? Trey Turner had had a uh, triple. Um, it he smoked a ball down the line and down the right field line, and, and he beat it out pretty easily. So did uh, so did Brandon Marsh. So Brandon Marsh and him went back to back with those, and then obviously Alec Bohm with an absolutely great game today, hit a home run, then hit a double, three RBIs today, um, three hits. If this is the Alec Bohm we're going to see this year, I am very, very excited for Alec Bohm this year. And even Castellano, see, he struck out three times, but he had two hits. One was a big time double, um, and he scored twice on both of those. So, whenever he could score twice, you love to see it. Um, Realmuto three for five today as well, so he played well too. No RBIs for him, but he did score, and he had a triple, I believe, a triple and a double. Schwarber and and uh Schwarber's probably the biggest um downfall of, of the offense today. 0 for 5 with two strikeouts. I'm not sure if he's gonna stay in that two hole for long. I think that Bohm is probably going to take over that two hole pretty soon. If not, maybe Ramuto in the two hole and Bohm in the three. I think Bohm is their second best hitter on the team. I think Turner's the best hitter on the team. When when uh, Bryce Harper is not healthy. So that'll be interesting to see. Jake Cave 0 for 4 2. He got a home run robbed from him. So at least he's swinging the bat okay, I guess. I'm not real hopeful for Jake Cave. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with Jake Cave. Um, I wouldn't expect him to play a ton. Maybe only against righties, but that's a decent amount. Stott went 1 for, for, uh, one for 4. Still chasing that high fastball, which I hope he, I hope he can learn to lay off that. Derek Hall with a with an RBI today. I believe he uh, flew out. Uh, no, he, he grounded out to the right side and got a run home. But I mean, usually when you score seven runs, you win the baseball game and have twelve hits. So, it, I guess the only complaint with the offense is too many strikeouts. Thirteen strikeouts is a decent amount, but um, the offense was okay in this game. That's not the on the offense today. To they go and play, they they are back against the Rangers on Saturday, I believe. Yes, they play Saturday. It should be Wheeler versus Evaldi. Um, it'll it's going to be a national game on Fox at four oh five. Hopefully, it's a little bit better of a game. Um, at least for the Philly's sake. Hopefully, Alec Bohm can can uh continue to tear the cover off the ball. I'm excited for Alec Bohm. I, I mean, I guess I've just been an Alec Bohm fan the whole time, where, uh, even even through the minors. But 11-7 loss here 
not great. I'm a little bit worried about Aaron Nola. I think Aaron Nola struggle when Aaron Nola starts to unravel, it really unravels fast. And when the manager doesn't realize that, it winds up being very bad. Um and I knew it as soon as it happened. As soon as he gave up that first hit and and started throwing balls, I'm like, he's done. They should pull him. One hit happens, another hit happens, it's five two, and then he gives up a three run home run. It's like, oh, it could have been prevented so easily. It could have been prevented so easily. But, I mean, what are you going to – you don't want to pull your starter after three and a third either. So, it, it was a tough game to manage. I don't really blame any of this on on Topper today. Like, his, his starting pitcher just didn't have it. And D- Jacob DeGrom on the other side didn't have it either. Now, Soto, he really needs to pick it up. I mean – they traded they traded a very solid bench piece in Nick Maton and another very solid bench piece in, in uh, Matt Veerling for him. If Soto doesn't figure it out and they cut him, it's going to be very bad because they needed – right now they could have used a Matt Veerling. They could have used another guy like Maton, especially with, 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 uh, with Hoskins going out. Matt Veerling could have played some first base for you. He could be playing left field right now for you. Is Jake Cave going to be okay? Yeah, he's. Pro- I don't know if he's. I don't think he's as good as Matt Veerling. Um, and maybe he didn't need Mayton, but I just. I. I really hope Soto figures it out. I really do. Um, but yeah, it's it's rough. It's really rough. I don't think. Did they get tagged with any errors today? They did not get tagged with any errors. There was a questionable one with Bohm where he he underthrew Hall or overthrew him and wound up going to the left side. So, but the fielding overall wasn't terrible. Um, The fielding wasn't the problem today. They didn't really lose because of the fielding. I would really just like to see the pitchers pitch better, which has had a lot to ask for. I don't know. Um, it, it really worries me when your number when your guy who's supposed to be your number one starter, or at least who they're tagging as the number one starter, can't get through three and two thirds on opening day. And it's one thing, you know, if he went four innings, didn't allow to run, they're like, okay, he's gassed, whatever. But no, it was three and two thirds, and he gave up five runs. And he gave up five runs. So I'm really hoping things change coming in the next game. I believe I'll be doing another post game on Saturday if I'm not doing anything else. So if you guys wouldn't mind go drop a like and subscribe on this thank you guys so much for being here i'll see you guys next time